Hello and welcome. Um, today is going to be a great day as we're going to talk in our new mini tech lesson uh, screencast on Crazy Kahoot. So we'll go ahead and get started here. So what is Kahoot? Kahoot is a free educational technology tool um, that you can use to gamify the classroom. And students will respond with a smartphone, tablet, or computer to multiple choice questions projected on the screen. Now, why use Kahoot? I know that the routine that we get into is nice, but it's not great for our students. So we use Kahoot to have flexibility. So games can be created for any topic, any subject, math, literacy, ESL. And simplicity, it works on any device. So as long as you have an internet connection, you don't need an account or to log in, um, students can go ahead and get into the Kahoot that you've created and they can play with their peers. That being said, it's engaging. It inhibits social learning and also it gives us the opportunity to make our lessons more relatable to students. And it's global, so students can play with other players in over 180 countries in real time. So um, you can create a Kahoot and play with somebody in China or Brazil or somewhere that maybe as a social science teacher you're teaching your students about, giving them the opportunity to interact with others globally. And lastly, as teachers, we all love the fact that when things are free and we can use them and they work well, um, they're excellent additions to our classroom. So how does it work? Well, you create a login, you design and create your own Kahoot, and then you play with your class. You can also see the results from your class after you've played your Kahoot. So we'll get into the more detailed way to create your own Kahoot. You'll go to kahoot.com and it'll look like this page right here. And you will click the little button in the upper right hand corner that says sign up. Once you click that, you're going to, as a teacher, choose that you're using Kahoot as a school teacher. And then Kahoot offers you various ways to sign up to create Kahoots. You can either sign up with your Gmail account or Google account, sign up with Microsoft, as well as sign up with any other form of email. So once you go through and create your login information, you can go ahead and click the purple button in the upper right hand corner to create a new Kahoot. Now I know that we talk about Kahoot as though its only option is to create a quiz. However, there are three other options that Kahoot currently has that you can use to gamify or utilize technology in your classroom. Uh, the way that quizzes are designed are with right or wrong answers and toggling points on and off. There's a scoreboard between questions to show current top scoring players to entice your students to have some competition between each other. There's a jumble, which is a brand new game, and students place answers in the correct order rather than selecting one correct answer. So you could use it with sentence structure, you can use it with ordering math problems in the correct steps. Um, so jumble brings a whole new aspect to Kahoot. Now, there are also two other options in Kahoot. One is the discussion, which is 
essentially a way to do a quick survey, a quick check with a limit of only one question. Um, so how are your students feeling today? Or what do you think was the cause of the revolutionary war? And students can just answer one single question, which will spark a discussion. A survey, on the other hand, is a bar graph that shows um, how many students chose each answer. And there's no right or wrong answers, nor are there any points. And you can also use this if you'd like to create several different discussions or just to get a gauge as to where students are. So I created my Kahoot using number systems, positive and negative numbers. So after uh, we go through and we choose what kind of Kahoot we want with this quiz option, you go in and you enter questions, you enter the correct answer, and you enter three other answers that may or may not be um, big uh, questions that or answers that could potentially sway students from where their where their original answer is supposed to be. Sorry. Now, once you get your Kahoot set up, you can go ahead and create either a classic Kahoot quiz or a team mode Kahoot quiz. So the classic version allows students to have individual devices, whereas the team mode has students share a single device. As you can see, there are many different ways to use Kahoot. And um, if you're thinking, how can I incorporate this into my classroom, here are a few ways to use Kahoot in your own classroom. There is the opportunity to review, revise, and reinforce material. You can do an icebreaker using Kahoot and re-energize and reward your class. Test some personal knowledge and think beyond the quiz. So create a Kahoot to do a survey. Um, you can also motivate teamwork, improve past results. I really like the opportunity to join global classrooms where you can again play games or play Kahoots with students in other countries. You could introduce new topics this way by kicking off a lesson to introduce concepts or even to preview, to do a quick preview of some content that you're going to be covering. So creative ways to use Kahoot on day one. Well, this is really nice. You can use these five questions and note for each of these questions, I created the question or I used this question um, or I use these questions from the Kahoot website, but you can feel free to use these as well. Uh, just if you had one superpower, what would you choose? If you could have any animal for a pet, what would you choose? So on and so forth. And there are different time settings that you can create when you're going through and making your questions, as well as you can go ahead and adjust the images for each of the questions. You can also do a teacher selfie Kahoot or class photo Kahoot. So what you would do is previous or prior to class, you'd have students take selfies and send them to you and you can put them up and give students the opportunity to decide who is who is it that they're seeing a picture of on the board? You can also do a survey Kahoot to uh, start a discussion. I like the icebreaker Kahoot, which is the one that we have here. So we're going to just take a quick look at um, how to use Kahoot to assign in grade homework. Sorry about that, volume. 
It's a bit high. So um, as you can see, you can actually challenge your students. And by challenging them, it gives you a report back, which allows you to grade students' homework pretty easily um, without having to go through manually and check that way. So if you have any questions on how to create a Kahoot, please feel free to contact me. Um, my extension here is 3331, or you can use the link below to get in contact with me using Google Forms. Hope to talk to you soon. Have a great day.